Interesting facts about famous people. Chief Dan George, authentic native North American actor. Following my video on Wesley Studi, another native North American actor, I thought I might see who else I could make a video under this theme. Chief Dan George was the first to come to mind. If you like this video, please like, share or subscribe. You can check out my many other videos on my channel. The link is in the description. Now let's find out more about Chief Dan George. Please forgive my pronunciation of names. I'll do my best. Chief Dan George, born Geswanoth Slahut, 1899 to 1981, was a chief of the Tslilwatuth Nation, a Coast Salish band whose Indian reserve is located on Burad Inlet in the southeast area of the district of North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. An actor, musician, poet and author. The chief's best known written work is My Heart Soars. As an actor, he is best remembered for portraying Old Lodge Skins with Dustin Hoffman in 1970's Little Big Man, for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, oh, where, Grandpa? Oh, and for his role in 1976's Wales. The Outlaw Josie Wales, I've heard as Lone name. Wait with Clint Eastwood. Some said you'd be headed this way, and they said a man could get rich on reward money if he could kill you. His English name was originally like Dan Slaholt. Like the that. surname was changed like to what? George when he entered a residential school like at five years old. All. Worked under a number of different jobs, including a construction worker, longshoreman, a school bus driver, and was band chief of the Slil Watut Nation from 1951 to 1963, then called the Barad Indian Band. So, he is a legit chief. When he was already 60 years old in 1960, he got his first acting job in a television series, Caribou Country, as the character Old and Tween. He played the same role in a film, 1969's Smith, adapted from The High Chaparral, an episode in the series. At 71, he received honours for his role in the film, 1979's Little Big Man, including a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. He played Chief Red Cloud in 1971 in Season 13, Episode 14, War Bonnet, on the Western series Bonanza. He acted in the film Cancel My Reservation and got a recurring role as Chief Moses oh, Charlie in the comedy Who's drama television series The Beachcombers, a role he would continue until his death in 1981. He played the role of Ancient Warrior in 1973 in an episode of the TV like show Kung Fu. In his in the that same year, George recorded My Blue Heaven when with the band Fireweed with Indian Prayer on the reverse. His album, Chief Dan George and Fireweed in Circle, was released in 1974, comprising these songs and seven more. The following year, he had roles in 1974's Alien Thunder, Come on like some coyote after gun. The Bears and I, and Harry and Tonto, all in the same year. He portrayed the character Chief Stillwater in 1975 in the showdown at Times Square, episode in season six of MacLeod. He was hired to act in the outlaw Josie Wales I might have killed her. Oh, I noticed that. and Shadow of the Hawk in 1976. What's all that about? The following year, on television, he had a role in the 1978 miniseries Centennial. He had his final film role in Nothing Personal in 1980. The chief died at the Lionsgate Hospital in North Vancouver in 1981, at the age of 82, interned at Barad Cemetery. I hope you like this video on Chief Dan George. 
If you'd like to see some of my many other videos, please check the link in the description to go to my channel. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Am I, I appreciate likes, world? shares and subscribers. Drop me your comments. Bye for now. <clears throat>